Hi, it's Mike Thornton here. And in this video, Marco Bernardo and I are going to demonstrate how to use the PT install version app that Marco has just created. Because even though we all know that we can rename the Pro Tools app before installing the newer version, so we have a backup if the new version has problems, of course, we don't always remember to do it every single time. Now, before we start, let me just explain what we've got here on the screen. The window on the left is the source folder, i.e. where the new Pro Tools installer .dmg file is. Although normally this would be in the download folder, Marco wanted to demonstrate how it works with nothing else in that folder. The window on the right here is the destination folder. Now that's where you'd like to store or back up your Pro Tools installer after it's completed the installation of the latest version of Pro Tools, as of course, Avid usually only leave the most recent version in your Avid master account. Below, we've got the applications folder, which of course has the current version of the Pro Tools app in it. The first thing we need to do is to run the PT install version app and choose what we want to do. Now, it defaults to the install Pro Tools, and of course, that's what we want to do. So we just need to click the OK button, and then the app will ask where the new Pro Tools installer.dmg file is. You navigate to where that new installer is, which of course would usually be the downloads folder. But in this case, we select the special PTDMG source folder. Once you've navigated to the correct folder and highlighted the file, just click on the choose button. Next, the app will ask us to identify where we want to store the new Pro Tools installer DMG file once it's done its stuff. So we have it on our system as a backup. Because the app is going to make changes to your system, you'll need to enter your username and password, just as you would do with any installer. At this point, the app takes over and does the following. You don't need to do anything, just watch and wait. The first thing it'll do is to check if there's a Pro Tools app inside the Applications folder. If there is one, and we certainly hope there is, it'll check what version it is and then rename the existing Pro Tools .app and append the full version number after the words Pro Tools so you can easily see which version it is. And of course, now there won't be a file named Pro Tools for the new installer to replace and leave you without a backup. Next, the app moves the new Pro Tools installer.dmg file to the folder you've chosen to store and back up to. Then after that, it will mount the new Pro Tools installer.dmg file in the background. Note that because it's in the background, you won't see a mounted volume on your desktop. And then it will start the normal Pro Tools installer process. But again, in the background, you won't see the normal activity. While the installer is working in the background, if you look in the notifications window by clicking on the list icon in the top right hand corner of the finders menu bar, we can see the progress the app is making, including the stages already completed and the notification that the Pro Tools installer is currently installing Pro Tools. But as it's all happening in the background, there isn't that much to see except for the odd telltale sign here and there, including the space available number dropping at the bottom of the finder window. Then it's a matter of waiting some more as the next thing that you'll see is that the new Pro Tools app will appear in the applications folder. Then there's a bit more waiting. And the next thing you'll see is as the app finishes, it will rename the new version and again, append that version number to the end of Pro Tools before unmounting the Pro Tools installer.gmg file and announcing that the Pro Tools installation is complete. As we can also see in the notifications window, if you missed it pop up in real time. And that's it, job done. Thanks to Marco Bernardo for taking the time to create this excellent little tool and making it available for free in the Pro Tools expert community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.